made by a company called Galderma in Fort Worth. It's called um, Abo Botulinum Toxin, and that's called um, Disport. And then there's one that's made by Mertz, is about one to one. One unit of Xeomin equals one unit of, of Allergan's product. Whereas the Disport, it's about three, three to one. So it takes three times as many Disport units to, to get um, the same effect. Voluma, please. So, but what we're looking for is we're looking for an overall improvement in this area here. So this is where I think she, she could do it. Because every woman goes into the mirror and she doesn't go, I want this. They say, I want this. You can always tell the non-verbal cues from patients when they kind of, they scrunch up their noses or they, they blink and stuff like that. And so it's always reasonable to ask them if they need a break and stuff. I say to people, look, concentrate on one aesthetic zone first. Don't think that one syringe is going to do your whole face. <laughs> Because that's that's a difficult part, you know. The filler companies are good, and they're always bringing us new new products. But it's also very important to, to educate your patient, and a smart patient is a really good ally. When you puff up everything, it feels a little bit sore for a bit. So that is the question: is whether she has any discomfort. Did you did you have that the first time? Um, no, not when I chewed, but like if I laid on the side yeah. sometimes. So they can feel feel tender, not like someone punched you, but it just feels tender. Fillers should be put in the correct plane. This is going right onto the periosteum, the covering over the, the bone. And that's a very avascular plane, so that's another reason why it stays a long time, because the blood flow is, is not as much as it is in the face or in the skin, where there's a lot of blood flow. You know, when you run, you get red, that's blood flow. But on these ones here, you can get, the most common things that we worry about are, are knots or, or granulomas, because people don't want to, to to sign up and have a whole bunch of you know, knots in their faces. But the hyaluronic acid products are very, very smooth as long as you dose them well and you don't you don't get too ambitious of putting too much. And the lips, I think, are an area where you can get knots and because the muscle is always moving and kissing and stuff like that and the stuff can kind of get beat up and stuff like that. So, so I always say to them, let me do a little bit. I'd rather bring you back in a little few, you know, few weeks to month and then we can, we can kind of uh, overdo it because I don't want people to have to go out and be, um, you know, embarrassed and have to wear you know, a, a, a washcloth. And I, I know Christine's thinking about that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, because it's it's a very it's a very social thing. You, you're putting this on your face, and you want to be able to look good. You don't want to be looking like a lot of my men patients say. I want to be I want to look good, but I don't want to look done. And that's a very hard balance point.